Hello and welcome to another ZBrush for iPad getting started video. In this video, we're gonna take a look at some extra customization options and how you can save and load your custom UI to import to another iPad device or just to save your UI customization. So then you don't need to re-customize every time you open up ZBrush for iPad. Now, first things first, let's take a look at this custom toolbar in the bottom where we have all of our favorite brushes. Let's say we have some hard surface alphas and etc. What you can do is just click with your finger and drag that bar. And now you can see it's no longer fixed to the bottom, meaning that you can just put it on the top. And now that's where your custom toolbar will be. In case you're using an IMM brush. So I'm gonna select an insert multi mesh brush over here. Now that mesh selector is gonna show up on the bottom instead of on the top. And if you want this to drag over to the bottom, you can see it's just flipping that mesh selector from the bottom to the top, depending where your custom toolbar is. Another thing that you can do is actually customize the size of your custom wheel, just by holding your finger in the middle. And then with a second finger, you can rotate that to change the orientation of your keys. And you can drag inwards or outwards in order to change the size of your modifier wheel. In order to save or load your UI and your settings, all you have to do is go over here on the top left corner, click export or import, depending on what you're doing. And then just scroll over on the left to settings. And here you can select which settings to save. So you can export now your user settings, which is basically whatever's on this palette over here your UI state, which is where things are laid out, such as your modifier wheel or your custom toolbar. Your custom bars, which means all of your custom bars, such as these ones, like with extra alphas and brushes and functions. Your quick menus, which is basically your menus over here when you press and hold this spacebar icon which is all of these settings here and the custom menus that you have saved. And you can also save your Z modeler presets, which we go over in our Z modeler presets video. Now you can basically select which things you want to save or not. Let's say I just want to save my UI state, my user settings and my custom bars, and I click export. And then to load, you just have to do the same thing, but with the import button. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.